Well, guys, now that we have assessed the situation, here's the truth. And sometimes the truth is something that we really don't want to find out. Sometimes the truth is something that we don't want to hear. But the truth is that Jamaica and Trinidad were both to be blamed for this situation. That's one truth. Secondly, we were wrong. We were wrong. Jamaicans hate Trinidadians. No, Trinidadians hate Jamaicans. In this video, we'll find out as to whether Jamaicans really hate Trinidadians or whether Trinidadians hate Jamaicans. Therefore, for what reason could there be this animosity between these two countries? Let's find out more in this video as these gentlemen explain to us why they think Jamaicans and Trinidadians have this animosity. So let's watch the video together and we'll talk about it in the end. But before that, if you haven't yet liked the video, kindly like the video and also subscribe to the channel. Let's watch the videos together. Now I think it shows of blessing, a bit like the topic we're discussing today. Does Trinidad hate Jamaica? I don't think so. Does Trinidad hate Yaris? I don't know. You tell me. That's a question I've been asking myself. But upon closer examination, you know, you know, sometimes I think we Jamaicans are to the blame. Mm -hmm. For instance, when we're traveling to another man's country, right. the way we dress, how we put ourselves together, it depicts a lot. Females, for instance, some of them just like, they are working, but it's not an upscale work, you understand? It's like back road, port more work. Somebody, you know? No, no, I don't know any of them. Huh. And the males, pants, we are under them, bottom under them. So what, what are you advertising? Dress properly, man. But it's not trending? No, it's not trendy, that. It's, it's ghastly to the eyes, man. Oh, okay. If you come in front of me, I might send you back to. So just appropriately put yourself together and see where it leads. It's interesting you say that, because, uh, um, I was watching an interview with Sparrow and Sparrow once said that he loved Jamaica. He had a lot of Jamaican friends. And for those of you who don't know Sparrow, Sparrow is a Trinidadian singer, one of the greatest Calypso singers of all times. And, he said that one of the problems that he has with Jamaica is that Jamaica did something wrong when they left the Federation in 1961. That that ruined something that could have been great. When he said that, it caused me to think. It caused me to, to research. It caused me to reflect. And in hindsight, the problem between us and Trinidad is not now. The problem is, goes all the way back to 1961 in I think it was September 9, 1961, when we made a decision, when we did a referendum on the Norman Manley, and we decided, I think based on that, it was 60% who voted and 55% of Jamaicans said they wanted to leave the West Indies Federation. And, and that, to me, caused the animosity. And we have to understand, you know, back then, when we were doing the, the Federation, you had two alternative views on Federation. You had the Trinidadian views and you had the Jamaican views on Federation. The Trinidadian view of, of, of the Federation under Eric Williams was that they wanted one central authority. The Federation would have the authority to, to, to tax. The Federation would have the authority to have a central ba banking system, would have a central currency, would have free movement of trade, free movement of people. Does that sound familiar? Yeah. Yeah. That was what Trinidad Caracol. proposed. Well, before Caracol, that, that was the Federation in 1958. That was what Eric Williams wanted. Jamaica, on the other hand, we wanted a, a loose association. We wanted a loose federation. We wanted something that was different. We wanted to maintain our national sovereignty at the time. And and we thought the federation was a problem because we didn't want those persons from the other smaller islands coming into our large island and try to run down our economy. That was how we were thinking at the time. And that's why we, we and as well as we thought the federation was very costly. And as a result of that, we made a decision under the the referendum that we wanted out. And what was the cause of that? The cause of that was a domino effect. The domino effect was that when Jamaica left the Federation, we went to, to seek our independence one year later. And after that, in February 1962, Trinidad left the Federation. And after that, in May 31st, 1962, the Federation was dissolved. Right? And to me, as a result of that, it caused two years of, not two years, two generations of animosity between Trinidad and Jamaica. That's the root of why we have this embedded frustration toward each other. Fester. 
yeah, it, it has festered to an extent. That, that's, that's my opinion on the matter. I think it is deep rooted. It goes all the way back to then. And, and with each generation, it increases. The intensity of it increases more and more. That's what I think. But I, I think that just like what's behind us right here, things can be repaired. We have ships behind us that are destroyed, but they're not totally destroyed. They can be repaired. Relationships can be repaired. I, I believe in Caracol. I believe in, in, in the Federation. I believe in, in the relationship between Jamaica and, and Trinidad. I believe that with hard work, with determination, with patience, we can make this better. I believe that. Well, guys, now that we have assessed the situation, here's the truth. And sometimes the truth is something that we really don't want to find out. Sometimes the truth is something that we don't want to hear. But the truth is that Jamaica and Trinidad were both to be blamed for this situation. That's one truth. Secondly, we were wrong. We were wrong to have left the West in this federation. We're also wrong when we thought that we could go at it alone. Also, Eric Williams, his version of what the Federation was is the future for CARICOM. It has to be a Federation that's strong. It has to be a CARICOM that's strong. It has to be a Federation of all. Free movement of goods, free movement of people. It has to be an, a Federation that looks beyond our biases or our individual views of, 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 of what we think of ourselves. It has to go beyond national sovereignty. It has to go toward a collective unity of all. That is my take on that. That is my truth. Here's my truth. Yes, we have Jamaicans visiting Trinidad, but rightly, they are deservedly sent back. On the other hand, we have upright persons, business persons, students, athletes, going to Trinidad to visit for particular purposes, have met all the proper landing requirements, and yet still, they are being sent back. Why? Well, my question is still, does Trinidad hate Jamaica? Each and every one of us look within ourselves and we can answer that question. We are our own truth. As a matter of fact, Mr. Chin, Rory, you know you look like a Trini. That's why if you are so lopsided. <laughs> Welcome back. Throughout history, countries have hated each other for a very long time. There are a lot of countries that hold grudges and animosity between themselves. And in today's video, we check that of Trinidad and Jamaica to see whether there is any hatred between these two countries or the people of these two countries. In the video, the hosts reveal that in the year 1961, about there was a federation that was formed and he thinks that is where the animosity began this federation known as the west indies federation was established in other four countries to be able to come together and become stronger and foster development among themselves but Jamaica did not want to surrender its sovereignty to any other power in the sense that the West Indies plan that they will have a central bank, they will have a central administrative system. So Jamaica pulled out of this West Indies Federation and right after Jamaica had pulled out of the West Indies Federation, Trinidad also had no option but also to withdraw from the West Indies Federation. Later on within that year, the Federation was dissolved and everything was broken. So he thinks that that is where Jamaicans and Trinidadians had this animosity from. But I don't think this could just spark up animosity between people like that and even transcend from one generation to the other generation. Let me know what you think about this in the comment section below. Why do you think Jamaicans have 
grudges or hold some animosity with Trinidadians or why do Trinidadians have any grudge or animosity with that of Jamaicans? Let me know what you think about this in the comment section below. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel as well. Just click the subscribe button down there. Click on the subscribe button. Click as well on the notification bell. And I'd like to see you again in my next video.